Hello and welcome to another Art Every Week Art Journal Progress video. My name is Jennifer Vanderbeek aka Scraps, log at scrapsoflife.com and this week's page is called The Time of Our Lives. Now I would like to point out first and foremost that this has nothing to do with the Green Day song or Dirty Dancing. It is entirely inspired by watching some season nine Doctor Who episodes with my husband the Friday night before I did this po this uh, page. So just let's be clear on that. <laughs> We're also pretty much more or less monochromatic this week. I don't usually do monochromatic, but it seemed appropriate. Um, it almost has like a chalkboardy finish. The paint in the background is actually not a pure black. It's called graphite. It's from Americana like deco art, I believe. And um, I was actually surprised that I do not own a clock stencil. No sort of timepiece stencil exists in my stash. I don't know how that is. But I did have these, um, I believe they're by plaid, uh, these blue card cardboard stencils. And this one with a motif, I didn't punch out all the little spots. And I thought, yeah, you know what, that'll work. Um, I didn't it kind of looks like the, you know, 12, 3, 6, 9 um, to start with. Now, the first one, it bled like crazy underneath the stencil. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to fix that. But that's okay. We were only like on layer two of the page. And we were far from done. So what I ended up doing was taking more of the graphite, which is kind of mixing in a little bit to the with the white and just kind of going around defining those edges not being super precise but you know I think it works and then we go around all of the all the little dots and diamonds and whatnot and then I'm like well if I'm already doing this hey let me add some dots for the other numbers and this is this is just kind of how this page evolved over time um, I don't really have any super deep thoughts about this page as I'm working on it, but I really like it. It's again, it's not what I normally do, but I think that's one of the fabulous things about art journals is because you can ex explore a bit and kind of see what you what you want to do. Oops, they are the a typewriter font. This is the small size, I believe. And I hadn't had a chance to use them yet. And I'm like, okay, this would be a perfect time to do so. I mean, of course I could have written in the numbers and whatnot, but if I've got the stamps, I might as well use them. And so I am just using the White Shimmer Delicata ink on the dark portions of my makeshift clocks. And then I am using the Black Shimmer Delicata on the white section, so like the cardinal, north, south, east, west, 12, 3, 6, 9, what have you. And then I am going to use the same stamps. Um, I ordered the uppercase, the lowercase, and then the symbols, and the symbols comes with the numbers along with punctuation and all that good stuff. I am going to use it for the um, saying, the, the title, the journaling part of this in the center. I will say that using these stamps is really cool because you can click together your words and then you're not having to try and line up different stamp, you know, the different letters and that's really cool. Um, they do give you doubles of certain letters, the really common ones like T's and E's and what's that, what that sort of thing. And so that comes in handy. But what I found out was that it was really easy to get all these little guys mixed up and I spent a lot of time which I have since cut out of the video, fixing, um, you know, trying to find the different letters I needed because I thought I was keeping them in order, but I so was not keeping them in order. So yeah, that, that was less than stellar, but I'm sure there's a better way to do it. I just have to work with the stamps more and aw shucks, you know, that's really not the end of the world. So now I'm using, you know, I have to add something to kind of make the clocks a little bit more defined. I am using just a basic st circle stencil. This one you can find in any, you know, like Office Depot in their drafting section. I think this is where I got this one years ago. It's by Stadler. I think it's pronounced Stadler. 
and I am using a white chalk pencil. If you want this white chalk pencil, go to the sewing department of Joann's or Hobby Lobby or Michael's or even Walmart. Um, you know, if they've got a sewing area and they have chalk pencils for transferring patterns, that's what this is. It's nice and big and chunky and it shows up really well. And I just, it's probably my favorite chalk pencil. And it's working really well for this kind of chalkboardy look, you know? And so these other little circles, they look kind of like little Venn diagrams all over the place. Again, I was inspired by Doctor Who this time. And so in certain episodes, he's got like his pocket watch or other items that have the consent, you know, the concentric and inner twining circles the designs I don't know is it like a star chart is it Gallifreyan language I have no idea I am not that much of a Doctor Who aficionado I just enjoy it and so that's that's what those are meant to represent and you know kind of take up a little bit of space and then to finish things off just some sharpie details you know normally if you have a page with well, anything on it, it really looks nice if you highlight it with white, but since my, all of my words and images are pretty much white on black, you know, you go with a black Sharpie to, you know, start adding some little shadows and echoes of lines. I had a lot of fun putting this page together. As compared to the first one I did, this one only took about half an hour tops total, including me futzing around with the stamps and whatnot. And so... I'm really happy with it and I this is probably one of my favorite art journal pages pretty much ever so thank you again for watching again my name is Jennifer Vanderbeek you can find me at scrapsoflife.com if you enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up a like and you know I'm always open to any questions or comments down in the comment section below and you'll also find a full list of everything I used to create this uh, this art journal page in the description Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.